Okay, I want to demonstrate the problem that I was having where if we import a um, an object, so I'll just go to import temporary. So this is a temporary bus stop. I'm going to have an FBX file and I import it. I was importing it like this, where the skeletal mesh was selected. And if I import that, ignore that, okay. Um, if I just drag and drop this and fix it scaling, okay, that was way too small. Okay, that's roughly right. I'll have my character here. And they can't get anywhere near that bus stop. Like, they should be able to interact with it. The collision should not be this broad. It's ridiculous. So if you deselect that option and you make it so that the skeletal uh, mesh is not selected, then you instead have this, where you can actually interact directly with these kind of objects. It um, during that import process, which I suppose I should actually show you, um, we'll do it once more. So importing this, no, it's just done the same thing again. All right, I create a new folder. Two. If we import this and we deselect the skeletal mesh, we have an option to generate the missing collision. And that's what fixed the problem. So by generating the missing collision based on the actual mesh that we have, then we're able to then directly interact with the environment. So you don't actually have to change anything in terms of like Blender or like the model or anything like that and trying to recreate the actual structure. It's simply a matter of just selecting to generate the missing collision, and then you'll be able to actually interact with the environment as you should. So I can demonstrate once again, can't walk here, but we can get real close to these objects. And then I've done the same with like the car um, where you can sort of directly walk on that thing, uh, but it's not applied to the trolley. So I can't get on the trolley probably, or I'd be inside the trolley right now. And it's obviously not the case. So that's how to fix that problem.